focus. Focus on me. Oh yeah. Hello. Hi. Hey guys, it's and Nikki. I'm here with my guest or friend, <laughs> Geraldine. Um, we so did. <laughs> I know we did um, a collab like a year ago before freshman year of college. So we wanted to do another one after our first year of college and how we think that went for us. <laughs> and sadly, we least. just want to say that we dropped out of college. Yeah. So. I'm working at Target right now. Yeah, and um, I'm currently not on the job floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm laughs> just kidding. We're still in school. Stay in school. Um, I go to Point Loma Nazarene University in San Diego. Mm -hmm. I go to Marquette University yeah. in Wisconsin. I guess we just want to talk about yeah. like our experience in our first year and how we are looking into our sophomore year. Point Loma is a pretty small school. Um, we're about 2,400 people or a around that more or less I've just learned a lot about how to um, like manage my time um, in making really uh, important like relationships because you know people are you don't have a lot of people at our school so it's just like really important to like be present with people around you and um, I don't know I'm really happy that I chose Point Loma like it definitely is my home and I'm very blessed to have been able to got to have been accepted into the school. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't know. This is just for anyone that's going into college. Like, say if you get into or if you're gonna go to college that you never imagined you would be going to, just know no matter where you're gonna go, you're going to like it because it's something so different and so something so out of our comfort zone. Like we're both really out of. Oh. <laughs> 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 Being out of your comfort zone already is just really exciting. Yeah. Don't think of it as like an adventure mm -hmm. because you're doing something that you're totally not used to. Mm -hmm. So it's really exciting. Yeah. We just have like a few tips and tricks um, for incoming freshmen um, going into school. Number, Number one, one be, be fearless. fearless. Don't be afraid, again, just to like step out of your comfort zone and do things that you wouldn't that you said you'd never do, yeah. but that are safe and that are good, mm -hmm. you know, um, like clubs and stuff. Yeah, like mm -hmm. being a part of things is an awesome way to meet, um, people. meet people, make relationships in college, and just start like being a part of your school. Being fearless in your decisions of whether or not you want to do this, or like just making decisions like in college is a big deal, whether that's for school or whether that's your own personal life. Um, just being mature enough to know that, like, you are true, saying true to yourself. So, you know, being fearless means, like, you can be bold enough to say, no, I don't want to do what this mm -hmm. person does, or saying yes to doing something new and exciting. Stay true to who you are. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to conform to what other people say or think, and um, just get involved. And surround yourself <laughs> with people who make you feel good. Yes. And if you start off your year with people who don't make you feel good, then, you know, that kind of sucks. So. But again, there's 2,400 people. There's 11,000 people. Your college is huge. Yeah. You're gonna find someone. Number, Number two, two plan. plan. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got really, I got really. Excited. Number two, two plan. Prioritize and organize. organize. Plan ahead. Um, really make use of a, a planner. That's definitely gonna help you. Or just have a calendar in your phone and just really try to like structure your day to day because it gets really busy. Prioritize. This one is just like. Know what's most important that you have to finish at a deadline, and then after that, put all of your other things after that. Because just remember, always just school. School is first. There's so much to do in college, yeah. but just always remember that you have to graduate. Yeah. Um, you can't say yes to everything. Yeah, you know? I think that's that's a really good point. Don't mm -hmm. say yes to everything if you can't handle it. If you can, go for it. Have fun, but yeah. always prioritize your time. School is first. Yeah. But you can have fun at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then organize, of course. <laughs> Just organize your life, man. Just get together. Just get together. Yeah. <laughs> organize just is pretty much straightforward. Just do what you have to do to get things done. Another tip is it is okay and acceptable to do things by yourself. Amen. You know, like I would go out to coffee shops by myself and study by myself, and mm -hmm. those are actually the times where I'm most productive. Yeah. You need time to yourself too. You don't have to be a people pleaser. And you have go to out enjoy your own company. Mm -hmm. Number, Number four. four. Take a nap. Wait. Oh. Because number three is with number one, right? So it's actually number three. Oh. Number three. Sleep. sleep. We 
is very important yes. because you don't realize how fast your day is going. 20 minute naps, 20 minutes is the golden number. Yeah. For you. Um, for me, it's kind of horrible. After a class, take a nap, wake up, and then watch class, then come back, take a nap. Like, do what you gotta do to not feel tired. Value your time when you are resting. We get it, like the first few weeks or whatever of college, like you wanna stay up with your like your new roommates, everything's new, like of course you wanna stay up. But at the same time, um, definitely value the time you have to yourself and to just rest and to just, you know, come back to earth. Mm -hmm. Do you remember like in high school when people would be like, oh my gosh, I only slept for three hours. Like don't, no one's going it's to just, brag about that. No. <laughs> no one in college brags about it. No, they no. don't. You brag about like getting like a lot of sleep. Yeah, and then people are jealous of you. Yeah. So be that person. Yeah, be the person who wakes up and doesn't have eye bags. Number four. Make memories. Be adventurous and take chances on people and new things. Being really present with the people around you is what makes college really fun. Part of the college experience is just going out and having a good time with your friends. So yeah, make sure this goes under priori prioritizing. Like, don't be that person who is, you locked know, locked in their dorm. In their dorm. Like, mm -hmm. college is a time, of course, to study and do well, but it's also a time. Um, to just have fun and be young and embrace your youth. Number five. Not everyone has the same study habits. Some people are nighttime studiers. Some people are morning studiers. What are you? Um, for me, I'm more of like a after the day happens studier. Like, yeah. I'll start like after all my classes are over. That's mm -hmm. when I start. I'm like with you. Like, I'm kind of like in the high school thing where it's like after your classes are done, then you study. Yeah. Uh, but I have to sleep by like. 10 or 11 <laughs> because of um, ROTC, but then um, sleep too. I start losing things by like 2 a.m. So I mean, you could like sure if you can do all night all night. All if you can do all nighters, then sure do. Praise it. hands to you. But I can't. Yeah, like, I can't. That's just not gonna happen. I need my sleep. I need my sleep. Number six, six stay active. active. It's just a good way for you to give your body a place to just. Release tension, stress, yeah. anxiety. Mm -hmm. Because if you're cooped up in your desk for so long, I don't know about you, but I get really anxious, yeah. anx 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 anxious, and I just want to like get out there and just like move around. It's good for you. It's good for your body. It's just it's good for you. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, just Nike. <gasps> Sponsor us. <laughs> as long as you're just like getting your body to move, um, you don't feel as like anxious when you're studying and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's, yeah, especially if you live in Point Loma. Yeah, it's really fun and easy. How about where you are? We run to the lake a lot, to Lake Michigan, but then when it's like negative 40, nah, ain't about that life. Yeah. You, guys have, you have a gym though. In yeah, the we do. The gym is packed when it's like winter. Yeah. So just go to your gym if you go out in the Midwest or uh, East Coast. Number seven. Number seven, be present. The friends that you make during college is really important. Like they're gonna be part of your life for these next years that you're gonna be a student. And I think something that I've noticed is just like, people need to be more present in relationships and in friendships, um, just in class in general. Like, <laughs> people just need to be off like technology sometimes. Oh, just, just breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's something that we need to be reminded of. Like if you guys are gonna go to the cafeteria and eat dinner together, just be eating together, you know? You don't have to be that person who's always on their phone. Like, of course, you can Snapchat. We're both big Snapchatters. Yeah. But what? It takes like 10 seconds. You know, when you look back on those pictures, you're gonna yeah. remember the time you spent with them talking mm -hmm. and all the conversation and not just being in their presence, you know? Yeah, and then also, like, if you live out on campus and you, and you guys are in dorms, like, don't be afraid to just walk down the hall and, like, go to people's rooms. Open door policy. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. just, like, Go to people and just hang out. Like, yeah. it's okay. like that's what college is for. It's just to say hi. Like everyone wants to make friends. Number eight. Be honest. Be honest with yourself and know who you are. Know know the person that you want to be and who you strive to be, and don't like conform to what other people are. Just like find yourself in college. Freshman year is a tough time, you know. They said high school is tough, college is even tougher because you're on your own. So just this is the time for you to make decisions and to be honest with yourself. Know where you are. Know where you are and know where you want to be mm -hmm. in the future. Lying will get you nowhere, so just just live openly. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Um, and I think just because like Geraldine and I are very like faithful to like being Catholic, um, it's definitely hard to be pure in heart and mind. Because um, college is like a big, it's a different experience and a different um, environment. And I think college has definitely helped us to face real world temptations and like, just like things that aren't like good for us. Or st stay true to your own morals, your own beliefs. Don't change who you are now to be someone you're not and be someone fake in college. That's just a little wisdom that we want to share to you guys. Um, we hope that your freshman year goes amazing. You're definitely going to experience some challenges. Yeah, you're going to have like ups and downs. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all have our own things to bear when going into our first year of college. Um, but I think we can both say that we have been we enjoyed blessed. it. Yeah. Very so, blessed. We're really lucky. And yeah. college is what you make of it. It's all up to you now. You are out of the house. Yeah. It's your decisions. watching our video um another part to my college series which yeah. i don't really do i don't really <laughs> who cares you know what once a year is what? good annually <laughs> if you haven't seen our first one I'll you should check it, it out yeah in the doobly do but thank you for having me nikki of it's course. really great to just like catch up another thing is catch up with your old buddies because you want to know how they're doing in life yeah they're not in the same school so i know she goes she's on the east coast so so far, so far away. Doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore? <laughs> no, because you all go to college and school is important. Yeah. Okay. So add us, I'll put all of her stuff and subscribe to her. But thanks yeah. again for watching. Good luck everyone to mm -hmm. your college years. Um, have fun yeah. and just Enjoy it. You know you're never you're never gonna live these years again. Yeah. And also, if you have any recommendations for us to do in the future, or any yeah. suggestions or comments, um, let us know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll be happy to get back to you. So for thanks. Sure. Thank you. Bye.